Hello. Hi, everybody. Yeah. Welcome. Come on in. It's ninja time. Thank you for coming. Uh, this is a very special, very strange one shot, uh, as you can tell by Dave's excellent. Actually, <laughs> actually, let me let me redo that joke. You can tell it's a very special. Hey, where's Dave? <laughs> Get it? Because he's they're ninja. Because that's yep, yep. Yep. I don't see a Dave anywhere. <laughs> Well, once once our game master shows up, we'll be able to get into the ninja action. Um, if you're watching this live on Twitch, uh, I hope you enjoyed that that beautiful new drummer boy tune that we played beforehand. Yes. Uh, thank you, drummer boy, for letting us use your cool music all the time. You're great. Uh, the purpose of today's stream, uh, and this is sort of I was joking about this before we got started. The purpose of today's stream is to uh, get all of these nerds together and raise some funds by way of playing a role-playing game uh, to get Dave and Elf to PAX. But the thing is, like, we, we did it already. Did. We're 130% we of our goal before we even started uh, the episode. Was, was the goal just Dave, or does that also include Elf already? So the original goal was everything we needed to get Dave over from uh, the land of Ingalls. Uh, uh -huh. And now everything above that we are using to get Elf out of the terrible wilderness that is oh, the I, live of very, Canada. I live in a very flat place further away than the rest of these nerds from the cool stuff so yeah, yeah. and yeah, then yeah. and then there's a further amount that pays for adam's gas <laughs> <laughs> yeah right exactly if we yeah. can if we can and somehow, then i think i get one for like my bus pass yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. if we can we somehow like fully bucks. fund dave and elf getting to packs then yes i will I will take like sixty dollars off the top <laughs> to pay for me to drive there. So. And then I will get my hourly rate for walking there. Yeah. So that'll be like one third of my hourly rate. Exactly. So yeah, the the whole idea here is that we we submitted a panel to PAX uh, mm -hmm. called, and I couldn't call that one the Dungeon Fuckers Do a Panel <laughs> yeah, because well, they wouldn't let me. Um, I asked. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so the, the plans, we did this panel, we submitted this panel to PAX West and uh, they apparently were like, yeah, cool, go for it. Uh, Sweet. and then I was like, well, now we got to get everybody there. So <laughs> now we have to go. <laughs> yeah. Now we actually have to go. Uh, we got called on it. So yeah, so that's going to happen. Uh, and yeah, so we're just raising some, raising some money to get everybody there. And we are, uh, we are playing a, uh, playing a role-playing game. And from from what I recall, anything after the travel funds is going to a really nice dinner. So I'm excited about that personally. Yeah, I mean, um, it's like stretch stretch goals. <laughs> I mean, but I think that we should go for it and let people but, know that they could put meat in our stomachs. I totally agree. 100 mm. percent. Oh, yeah. So the the plan is we were we were trying to figure out like, OK, we want to play something because we you know, we've all played a lot of Dungeons and Dragons together and we've all played some other games here and there once or twice. Uh, and so we were like, dungeons. what would be a fun thing that we could make Dave run for us? And when I remembered that Shinobi Gami was a thing, I was <laughs> like, Dave, please. Dave Sensei, Ninja Kudasai, <laughs> let me do it. Uh, and so here we are. Here we are in Hi. Ninja Town. <laughs> so Dave, I'm going to just, I'm just going to turn it over to you. The rest is up to you. Uh, Dave will tell us what we need to know about Shinobi Gami. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, uh, I put this on for the thing, but it's going to make my microphone really hard to hear. <laughs> I'll, I'll talk with it off. Well, there's um, Dave. Oh my God. I am. <laughs> Whoa. Where did you come from? <laughs> Guys, duty was very effective, clearly. <laughs> so, um, today we're going to be playing, as we say, should not be gone. Uh, Ninja God. <laughs> game about secret ninjas, secret societies, clans, battles, and intrigue, sort of. But also, <laughs> like, really anime versions of that. It's, it's not very serious. <laughs> um, it's that, but, like, super anime. Yeah. We're setting this campaign in high school, so everyone is questionably aged between 18 and 21, despite the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And hopefully we will have some fun seeing how they all interact, working towards their secret ninja missions. Um, and then at the end, there's a big fight and we see who wins and who dies. <laughs> I can't wait. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So 
there will be certain things about all of the characters which you'll be able to see, and we'll do little introduction scenes first, um, so that everyone can tell you about their characters, what kind of what they look like, what they're up to. We'll introduce their missions in character, how they get those. But each of them also has a secret on a handout, which uh, nobody is allowed to see. In fact, the rules specifically say you are never allowed to give out your own secret of your own volition. That's how secret it is. And they also have secret ninja techniques, which uh, when they're really pressed up against the wall in a life or death situation in combat, they will pull out and uh, do some weird stuff. Everyone's got some good ones going. There's an <laughs> awesome table that you roll on to see uh, what sort of stuff. <laughs> Indeed. So, um, we are going to start off with these introduction scenes, like I say, um, and then we will head into the main rounds uh, after that. And let's see, who are we, who are we gonna start with? Does anyone want to start off? Or am I gonna just randomly pick I mean, you? Dave, just, just, just decide. volunteer somebody, yeah. yeah. Okay, so the first one, I think because most integrated into the school, we are going to start with Adam's character. That's me. Who, um, so it's modern day Japan, uh -huh. um, sometime in the autumn when school has just been back for a couple of weeks, everybody is settling into their new classes and uh, have met and made some new friends. And they've elected people to be on the student council. Everyone uh, voted, everyone made speeches and got uh, elected into these positions, which in case you weren't aware, in Japanese schools is a lot more kind of important there's a lot more ceremony to it, and there's, <laughs> you know, actual, um, like, emphasis on these kinds of things. And if you're on the student council, I mean, that goes on your, your resume when you're applying for jobs or trying to get into college and that sort of stuff. One of the lucky um, participants who's made it onto the student council as um, the public morals enforcement officer... <laughs> it's Adam's character. Wait, uh, excuse me. Adam is enforcing our morals. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, he's he's um. I will have you. I will have you know. I earned this position through hard work. Luck had nothing to do with it. I'm not one of these popularity contest <laughs> types. I won through pure merit, hard work, yeah. sweat of my brow, or maybe being planted there by your ninja clan. But listen, I mean, it's fine. That's that's I'm not a ninja, fun. all right? No one is. I'm starting right. to think I can guess maybe which ninja clan you're a part of. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's a group of maybe um, six other people around um, like a white table inside a classroom. Um, the student council president is giving like a short speech to everybody on their induction and sat uh, kind of to her left hand along the side is this young man whom will introduce himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So As it comes around, it's like, please introduce yourself, blah, 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 some person we don't care about, some person we don't care, care about, obvious anime protagonist. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> brown stop. hair, brown hair, brown hair, pig hair. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, so uh, Goemon, or more appropriately, uh, Tateyoka-san, he's very formal. Uh, I, I don't think, if you ever called him, like, Go-chan, he'd probably freak out and throw you out a window, but I'm not a ninja. Um, nope. So, school uniform is, like, just pressed to, like, razor perfection, uh, like, exactly, like, down to the centimeter. Like, I get it retailored to fit the school's, like, dress code perfectly, Every every year, uh, I think that most of the time, uh, Tatsuyoka San's uh, his these big glasses, and they do that like reflecting so you can't see his eyes thing basically all the time. Um, really, just like awful like bowl cut 
basically. <laughs> uh, also, like from a manual of like proper student behavior, I would never get a haircut that would distract my fellow students from their studies. Uh, and probably I have a sash. Like he has a sash with like various like pins that were given to him by like the school council for uh, for like intensive service. Uh, and it indicates his his rank uh, as the uh, as the the important the enforcement officer for public morals. Uh, yep. So probably my own personal uh, introduction would be like reading someone's business card. So I probably just say like, uh, I am I am Tatyoka Goimon. It is my pleasure to serve you. And then I just like bow and I sit down. And like probably no one like clap maybe like like some polite clapping, but it's it's clear that n no one really like actually likes uh, Tatsuyoka san very yeah. much. There is a very obvious juxtaposition between how focused the scene actually is on him mm -hmm. and how inconspicuous he's been. <laughs> um, but there's also another thing that you're wearing because you've received your mission this morning. Um, <laughs> On your way to school, uh, you were stopped in an alley by um, a man wearing a long coat that covered up his face and a fedora hat from the 70s pulled down. He was under a flickering streetlight display being the morning. Perfect. Good. Um, and he slipped you a note. A very mm -hmm. dark alley. Yeah. Yeah. And the note is something you've been waiting for for a long time because... Um, you reported back hearing rumors about this, that you have finally been given the official mission from yes. um, your seniors uh, back at the main clan branch um, in the city. And what is that mission? So this this year, this year, I will finally I will finally uh, be able to serve both my fellow students and my ninja clan. This is going to be a big year for for Tatsuyoka san. Uh, so you just want me to read the mission that you gave me? Yes, everyone is allowed to know the mission that's generally announced. During that. So while I might while I might be thinking about uh, student propriety, and while I am in my mind making notes about uh, telling everybody the ways in which they have already infringed on the school's very important dress code, uh, in the back of my mind, the 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 note, the the kanji on the the piece of paper I was given. Uh, keep it keeps reflecting keeps coming to the fore. Uh, I have been instructed to obtain the powerful artifact Kusanagi no Tsurugi, uh, and that is yes. where that is where my mind is focused. I'm thinking about this ancient artifact. So many gasps. Yes. The <laughs> ancient um, one of the three imperial treasures of Japan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the ancient grass cutting sword. Yes. Rumored to be here somewhere <laughs> in this high school. <laughs> Perfect. And I just I know that if I am able to retrieve it, uh, that I will rise in the ranks within my clan uh, and get the honor I so sorely deserve. And then Absolutely. maybe a girl will talk to me. Maybe. Maybe <laughs> even one of them will. Maybe someday when I finally have this mighty sword, then a girl will talk to me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Not I'm sword sexual, so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I yeah. I understand that. Mm -hmm. But with your mind filled with with duty, both uh, to your clan and to the student body of the high school, um, looking across the table to someone else, I believe there is someone who catches your eye, isn't there? Mm. As part of your background, <laughs> have you decided whom that is going to be? Or do you want to? I, I want to know. I want to know the other. I want to know about the other characters first, and then I have to choose. That's fair. Okay. Choose. All right. So. I think I can go next based off of my mission. Okay. So. Yeah. Also part of the student council. Um, oh, am I part of the student council? <laughs> yep. Um. What, what do you what do you think which position do you think you you've got what there? is the position that has the least public interaction treasurer <laughs> probably like treasurer yeah. or like the person who writes things down a note taker yes or the just, just, so she's she's the background character but you know that she's a main character because she has white hair <laughs> 
Uh, so yeah, we'll go with we'll go with like the secretary of of the student council. Um, she is mm-hmm. Nagisa with no last name. No one knows it. So Perhaps serious. It, it was never had. Uh, she has she has white hair. You can tell that's how she's um, now how you know she's main character. It's kind of like long. It's braided behind her. Um, probably like a wood, wooden beads sort of throughout the braid. Uh, her One of her eyes is blue and the other one is brown. That's also how you know she's the main character. <laughs> you she's got, got a lot of anime main character Yeah, you got signifiers. PC written all over you. I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and she, she sort of sits very quietly in the background. I think when she comes up to, to announce herself, she is like, uh, I am Nagisa and I'm honored to be here very quietly and then she just sort of slinks back and sits back down and uh but she's watching she's watching um tatioka san uh very closely the entire time uh she never she never lets him leave her line of sight but she just you know subtly like through her bangs like looking up um otherwise i think she wears her uniform correctly but without the level of precision that tatioka san has mm. oh Yes. <laughs> ninja mute technique. Yeah, ninja <laughs> muted. It's called silence. <laughs> we ported it over from. Turns me. out I broke out my Ogie real early. Yeah, yeah. I threw uh, a shuriken and it cut your mic cable. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Am I making noise again? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I think it's my driver. I don't know. I need to update like everything on my computer. Sorry about that. Uh, so she sits down very quietly. And uh, then she's been watching Tatiya san the entire time. But I think um, she has like a ghostly sort of air about her. Like she doesn't quite occupy space, um, even though she is is there. The um, number the number of times when we were discussing like getting characters to this game that I had to say it's not Monster Hearts is a non-zero number of times. If I an, think it is Monster. If you're Hearts. an actual ghost, ooh, you're in trouble. <laughs> No, I'm not a ghost. <laughs> um, and I think we as the audience can see like in her bag, there is just the, like, it's just the hilt of a sword. Like we, we see her like put something in her school bag and we just see like uh, just the, the hilt. There's no blade. It's not sheathed. It's just the hilt of a sword. Nice. Yes, I know what anime is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very impressed. Yes. <laughs> cool. But unbeknownst. Um, oh, her mission and the reason why yeah. she is watching uh, Tateyoka san so closely is that her mission is to protect him. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, do you do you want do, do you want to describe how she got her mission? Um, yeah, actually, you've you've had this mission for a long time. Um, the worst mission. She doesn't like it. That's the only reason she's on the student council. Yeah, exactly. Um, once. You saw that um, he was he was applying. Uh, you were honor bound to also follow him, but you've done a good job of keeping a low profile so far. Um, what Guy Chan does not know is you have actually been in the same class like since elementary school. <laughs> um, you've like always been shadowing him. So uh, do we <laughs> just get like? several flashbacks of us like younger and younger and younger until we're like in diapers and she's just looking at me like I must protect you <laughs> yeah um, <laughs> you were given this uh, this mission as a member of a branch family um, many many years ago and you're faithfully fulfilling that but not just that you have your own life as well you just have to babysit Mm-hmm. This guy who's, who's very yeah. of himself, very self-important. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see what your kind of relationships look like after a couple of scenes, because those are random. They we'll are see, random, yep. We'll see how you feel about it by the rules. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's see. I feel like I have a, an idea of how my character like comes into this scene, as it were, unless I'm also a member of the student council for some reason. <laughs> uh, no, if you don't want to be, you don't have to be, obviously. We're just making bits and bobs up. Uh, I have the idea that like the door to this room opens 
and there's like uh, a girl who comes in and she has like very long um, like it's that amber colored hair that is like when you bleach black hair Mm -hmm. Um, very long amber colored hair it's kind of wavy she has bangs she's wearing the school uniform but it's so like horrendously like horribly done like the shirt is untucked she's not even wearing her tie her skirt (laughs) has been like either rolled up or is like too far down like whichever one and then like either if you're supposed to wear stockings she's not and if you're not supposed to wear stockings then she is Um, and she opens the door and looks up have one of each you have one (laughs) one stocking and then she's like i'm so sorry i thought this was a different room and then like immediately slams the door like way too loud like it's absolutely totally obstructive um Um, you hear the voice from the voice from inside Uh, it's the student council president and he shouts and shouts oh no 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 this is fine i was going to introduce you later come back in come back in and then the door is like slowly like uh um yeah and he beckons you over um so you stand next to him um and he says yes we have a uh we have an exchange student her name is april um would you like to introduce yourself to everyone uh i'm april and she looks around like oh that's and then everyone like, and there's a polite clapping again. As, as they, <laughs> yep, good job. Um, and he says, um, "Please, please stay here after, um, or like return before classes start, and I'll take you around to your new like classroom and introduce you to the teacher and all that stuff." Um, but now we've got important council issues. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Uh, yeah. Sorry to interfere. And whatever, like, she's using the incorrect honorifics with everything. Like, absolutely, like, the worst. But she's just, like, she, she's like, okay, really and, like, backs out. And she's like, so sorry. Where, where does it look like you are from? Where, what Japanese um, version of which sort of part of the world are you? I character? feel like she's the foreign exchange student, but she's probably just, like, another eastern culture like maybe she's from korea or china or um like somewhere near like she's not like Mm -hmm. blonde haired blue eyed from europe somewhere um she still looks like she's probably from somewhere like close like maybe it was even an exchange program within japan (laughs) this is our exchange student from hokkaido all right (laughs) (laughs) sure (laughs) okay perfect and um yeah, so you, you open the sliding doors again, you walk outside, and you nearly bump into someone else who is coming to introduce themselves to the student. <laughs> <laughs> and seeing her, you are immediately aware she is also an exchange. Oh, two exchange yes. students. Now we have to fight. It's just, a, it's just a new school for me. You know, my parents moved or whatever. It's not, <laughs> yeah. it's not it was a big of a deal. And she like literally bumps into you and then it's like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. And so uh, when you bump into her, she she like almost drops something and catches it. And it looks like like an art kit, you know, like like a, like a set of paints or something that she like snatches back out of the air uh, when she like runs into you. And you look up and you you look at her and she has like long purple hair and there's a paintbrush like tucked mm-hmm. behind her. Nice. nice, 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 nice. Um, and she she's like politely sort of, you know, incline of the head like, sorry, didn't see you there. Um, and then says, are, are you going inside? Or? Oh, no, no, I already did the, the stuff and I'm just going to this way. And then she goes in a random direction because she doesn't know where anything is. Right, and then and then she like steps around you. Before uh, Blue Jay, before you go, we didn't get your your mission. What is your mission? Yeah, your gonna, mission? I was going to say. Oh if, yeah, is there a the time open. at which I introduce that? Oh, Dave, Dave's got a moment. Yeah. Um, so as you, um, as the the kind of little clash happens, and you begin to walk away, um, you take out. 
like instead of instead of school books, you have this very high tech like um, hollow pad. Uh huh. It displays a little uh-huh. bing, 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 like a or maybe on your wristwatch or something. Yeah, I, I, I like literally stop in the middle of the stream of students, and, like just completely ignoring everyone, and you know, click on the notification. Yeah, no one like does anything. No one pays any attention at all. They just just keep walking past. It's like the same head over and over again walking past you the whole way. Um, and um, an older man in a lab coat. Um, like appears in a little blue hollow display. Uh, hey. Hello. Um, yes, I, uh, I'm not exactly in a private space. It's uh-huh. fine. Only you can hear me. I'm speaking into your neural implants. I'm just envisioning this guy like the colonel from Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> April. Like pretty, yeah, Major Tom. <laughs> Yeah, like a cross between uh, a lab coat and um, like a general's uniform. No, it's a lab like, coat like, over a general. Yeah, a lab coat uniform. with epaulets and like medals on it. See the dumb colonel's hat. <laughs> um, yeah, you know this man. Um, he's been with you ever since you um, moved here right. after the, the change um, and the reassignment you got. Um, right. It's Professor Colonel. And Professor he, Colonel. Love him. Yes. <laughs> and he says, your location device, uh, we were correct. It seems as if the artifact is here after all. I will do my best. Yes. And Make- my... And my mission um, that I chose to accept um, is also to obtain the powerful artifact. Kusanagi no Tsuri. Or whatever, however you pronounce it. Oh, you can't, you don't deserve the sword. You can't even say its name. I'm oh. destroy you. <laughs> yeah, so that call finishes um, and you begin to walk off again and then the camera comes back and we see the inside of the student council room once again um, with you standing there paintbrush in your hair mm-hmm. um, probably doing a better self intro oh very much so like much much more polite certainly uh though on closer inspection it's clear to see that this that this girl that uh, azuki has uh like places where she clearly has accidentally touched this paintbrush to mm. that she hasn't noticed like you know like on her like cheek or neck sort of thing like and and her fingers are like ink stained a little bit um as if she's tried to wash it off but it doesn't totally come off all the way because it's mm. ink um and uh she you know she she bows and and does the whole like uh my name is Azuki Ren I'm new here to this school I hope that I will be you know like a, uh what would, she, what would I say um like a productive member of this class or what have you and then go and sit down yeah. Um, she has so, no last name, by the way. Azuki Rin is two first names. Yeah. Yeah. Like Dave Thomas. Mm. Yeah. So it, it turns out that we have um, only one character with a first and last name. <laughs> yeah. That's how the tables have worked. Uh, <laughs> I guess we just rolled a lot of sixes. I have a first and last name like a normal person who's not a weird ninja like the rest of you. I follow <laughs> the rules. Oh. Sure. Exactly. Um, and I, as I sit down, I cast my gaze across the the like the class, l- as if I'm looking for some detail that may clue me in as to the mission that I also have. <laughs> uh, it is not the same mission as no. your missions. Why my don't you mission- case? So we can roll the description into yeah. the first dice roll. Of the okay. Why don't you make me a uh, a check? Uh, the relevant skill here is probably like some kind of vision investigation. Related. Investigation. Okay, yeah. I I'm looking for it on the thing. Hang on. <laughs> okay, I've got it. So I just click it, and that should roll it. I guess they. 
Uh, it should do, yeah. Let's find out. Let's see if it's a little automated. There you stuff. go. My target was seven, and I got a six, so I think I failed. All right. Yeah, unfortunately. Um, so your mission, uh, you look around, um, and we see it first from um, a kind of regular sense, like looking around the room. Um, and then you blink, and we kind of see this um, like crimson tinge to the edges of the camera. Um, and we begin seeing um, within everyone's bodies, um, like the flow of key. Um, yeah. And everybody's like looking kind of normal. Um, and there's a specific thing that we can hear your character doing a little voice on. Everyone here is normal. Everyone here is. And you, you're like looking, and because you didn't like roll anything good, um, the camera stops just short of like seeing either of the other main characters, so you don't actually <laughs> see them. Totally. Um, as you're about to, um, like the bell rings, and it's time to first pick for like homeroom period. So you all need to leave before you get a chance to um, to 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 truly, you know, look at everyone as closely as I would like. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's there is something that you're looking for, isn't there? Mm-hmm. There is, and my mission for those of you who wish to to know is that I am looking uh, to discover the traitor to the bloodline of Oni and deal with them. <laughs> yes. Yeah, your um, clan sent you uh, a demonic crow uh, mm. with a message tied to its leg, a little scroll. Uh, of course that's the clan that you pick. <laughs> yeah, right? I literally, yes. going through character Everyone. creation, I was like, ooh, I can be one of the... No, Elf's going to be one of those. <laughs> it's <be> fine. <laughs> um, so yeah, you have this like um, three-eyed crow that, that comes in and um, gives you it in just like a small flashback. Um, as you're looking out the window, it lands, gives you this thing, um, and then it like burns up you know, demonic fire uh, once you've read it and committed it to memory. But yep. yeah, the bell's wrong, uh, and it's time for first period. And with all the introductions out of the way, we're going to move to the first round of the main cycle. This is the main part of the game. Um, and uh, just going to do it randomly. Um, everybody gets a scene and they can decide whether um, they're going to do a drama or a fight scene. Unfortunately, during the main scene, uh, the main cycle, you can only uh, fight someone if you know their location. Uh, the only people who should have the locations known, um, I guess I should specify. Uh, Nagisa should know where Tateoka is. Yeah. So on the sheet at the bottom uh, where it's got names, uh, everybody needs to fill out the other player characters in there. Mm, okay. And then there should be boxes for, um, uh, yeah, location, secret, I don't know what sense is <laughs> supposed to be your emotional bond with the oh, person. Yes, that's oh. a good one. Your, uh, sorry, your emo, emo bond. Your emo bond. Yeah, you gotta know. Emo bond. Oh, also, yeah. should I should I reveal should I reveal who what who my illicit love is? Uh yes, you need to do that as Very well. Very much so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that whole that whole sequence. Love? Is this a flaw? That whole yes, this is my flaw. Yeah. <laughs> So that whole sequence with uh, Azuki coming in and doing the creepy demon gaze, like that should be something that I should be paying attention to, right? I should be like, like focused on on seeking out people like that, and I should have noticed, but I don't because I'm so uh, confused by my my forbidden love for uh, for April because I hate her so much. <laughs> I knew that was and she's going. such I she's such a mess. No, but here's the thing: is I don't love her how she is. I love what I could make her into if I could just oh, fix yeah. her. I like, saw the I saw that coming with she, the like you're so yeah, together. She could be perfect if only I would be allowed to perfect her. Um but right now she's Gross. a terrible mess and I hate her. Um but yes, that is that is where my illicit love I think lies. 
Yeah. Okay. I'm we'll so see. sad I have to protect you. <laughs> uh, well, we'll see. I we'll see if you're you. just upset because you're bored, or maybe you're jealous, or maybe <laughs> something else happens. We, we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> mm-hmm. Um. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so as I was saying, if you've got everybody else's names on there, um, if I add any NPCs who are super relevant, I'll tell you. You can okay. put them on as well. Like and Scientist Colonel or whatever? <laughs> Colonel, Colonel Scientist. Won't be an NPC for this because he doesn't have a secret. Uh, but um, <laughs> yeah, relevant NPCs are NPCs with secrets of their own. The colonel's, the colonel's secret is that <laughs> he's trying to sneak through the facility. <laughs> but he's dummy thick, you see, and well. Absolutely. <laughs> makes things difficult. Wait, that's not how that goes. Uh, anyway, yeah, and you can you can mark when you know people's locations, the secrets. Um, if you get an emotional bond with them, and if you've seen their ogi, their secret ninja technique. Um, but yeah, I cool. think owing to the nature of your mission, Nagisa, you know where Tatiaka is, basically at all times. That makes sense. It sucks, mm-hmm. but I deal with it. <laughs> um, and for the rest of you, when you're interested in the others, um, I think I've done enough links so that everyone should be at least partially interested in everyone else. Uh, you do scenes, and that's that's how we do drama scenes. So uh, I'm just going to roll real quick and see who gets the first drama scene. These gloves are really thick, and it's hard to type. Okay. <laughs> you can do it, strong bad. You can do it. Three. Oh, perfect! It is Nagisa. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, as the first player, because there's no player to my left, um, that's why I rolled it. Um, you can choose now whether you want to have a fight scene or a drama scene. I don't think I need to fight anyone. (laughs) Um, But there are two new exchange students in our school and both of them could potentially be a danger to the one I am tasked to protect as loath as I am to (laughs) task uh, at times. So I I think um, I'm just going to roll to see which one of them I will approach first to try and learn about. Um, Roll on the scene chart and then we'll see one of them makes more sense because you get to That's choose. Good idea. Uh, scene chart, scene chart. I have the scene, scene chart. chart. I have it open right now. Just roll and I'll tell okay. you. Uh, D6? 2D6. 2D6. Uh, two two D6. Six. Two D6. Oh, oh. Where'd my, where'd my, did I just somehow close Chrome? <laughs> you, you definitely did. did. Yeah. You definitely did, yeah. <laughs> do, 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 do you want to roll for me? Would you like me to roll 2D6? I'll get <laughs> Yeah, please. In today's one shot, <laughs> Distracted Elf will be playing both her own character and Lauren's character. So you got a nine. I don't know what happened, but everything just went Ah, away. yes, this is great. You got a nine, and the scene is a heavy rain begins to pour down. People pull out their umbrellas and begin a mad dash for cover under the building overhangs. Okay, so um, as you're leaving the student council office, which is in the old building uh, on the campus, um, the morning suddenly darkens um storm clouds appear overhead and uh a downpour uh very like actually i guess it is probably kind of seasonal if we're um in the autumn yeah it, if it were early you will you see in japan uh <laughs> <God>. <laughs> Part of japan are we yeah if it were still if it were still early in the fall it might be like the tail end of the summer rainy season that's what it is. Thank you. That's kind of a, a warm, humid rain. I don't know why my Chrome is not opening again on my computer. You're fired. You're fired from the game. Wow. <laughs> you just lost. I got you covered until you figure it out. Thanks. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you don't have to roll any skills. <laughs> so this happens, and um, you're standing in the entrance of the, the old building watching um, the normal students scurry hither and thither, like ignore, uh, to, to get out of the rain, like school bags over their heads, coats pulled up. Southern smart enough to bring their umbrellas. Um, but yeah. I am definitely not smart enough to bring my umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get to determine uh, which characters. Uh, actually, how do, we, how do we do this? It says 
determine characters in time. Yeah, you can pick you can pick anyone because it's a drama scene. You don't fight during the drama scene. Yeah, I, I think um I, I gave up on Chrome. We're in Firefox, so Perfect. Good. uh Nikita is most interested in one of the two exchange students. So who would who would have I guess if April has forgotten her umbrella, um, then perhaps we are like right outside of the school uh, and it's just pouring down with rain and we have to walk somewhere. And so like Nagisa just does that thing where she opens her umbrella up and just stands next to April. Oh, oh, uh -huh. uh, <clears throat> thank, thank you. You're welcome. It is raining. You should have brought an umbrella. Uh, I'm not used to the weather here. Um, I don't know where my first period class is. Uh, so I, I've just decided we have a campus like school, so we have to walk yes. between buildings. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, uh, which building is it in? You see, the, the, the classes are named as such building and then room number. I forgot. She like goes into her bag and like rummages and there's a bunch of like sounds of like papers and things. And then she pulls out a piece loose of paper. paper. Yeah, loose. <laughs> she pulls out a piece of paper and she's like, oh no, not this one. And then she brings out another one and it's like super crumpled. And then like she immediately drops it into a puddle. I mean, and cut, the, to, and the cut ink. to fucking cut to Goemon like in the third up at a third floor window, just staring <laughs> at you like, <laughs> you like dropping your papers in the mud. Just, just and of course, whatever ink she used drop. to print it is like leaking and spreading because it's wet now. And so she like tries to like smush it off, and she's like, I can't read this anymore. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Perhaps we should go to the office to get you a new copy of your schedule. Sure. Where's that? This way. <laughs> she like gestures and they begin walking. She like holds the umbrella for April. So yeah. where are you from? Uh, I, um, I haven't been, um, I've been in Japan for, uh, for a while, um, mm -hmm. but I was born somewhere else <laughs> you name the place <laughs> I, I was born other place <laughs> not country. somewhere not in japan i'm not from so here brought you to japan my family my family is here um they moved so and to this particular school it, we're a small place out of the way not many people come here uh, yeah, I have decided the name for this uh, this high school is. Um, <laughs> I was born in bird noises. <laughs> yeah, I was born it's, in <laughs> it's the Odu Nobunaga Academy for Gifted um, Souls. Uh, the Academy. <laughs> Perfect. Good, Dave. Fantastic. Oh, I can't no. wait to see the big Oda no, Nobunaga no, statue no, no. out front. Yes. I'm, what is, I'm what is the name of our sports team? Like the Fighting Feudals, or like? Uh, it's Beautiful. probably like uh the the Shogun. Uh, yeah, that's true. Yes, the Super fair. Shoguns. <laughs> Good stuff. So, what brought you to our school? Uh, my family's always gone here. I mean, aside from me, because I wasn't here. Interesting. <laughs> uh, yeah, I feel like I want to figure out what's going on here. Yeah, so... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's scene, like you do information gathering, right? Yeah, you can either recover health, which is not relevant right now, obviously. Um, you can attempt to find uh, the location or secret of another character the location obviously they're in the same place right but mm -hmm. once you have the location you can find them at any time so it's like putting a tracker on them right mm -hmm. right like you always so, have their location once you okay. find it in this she might for example have memorized the copy of your like curriculum or whatever when she takes you to the office right right um, um and finally um you can set up an emo bond for both of yourselves and mm. we can find how you both feel about each other. Cause you can only, um, you get, you get info share when you have an emotional bond, right? When they learn a secret, you learn a secret. Um, yeah. and then you can also jump into a fight with them, right? Yes. As, um, you can only, unless you 
What's going on with my green screen? Sorry. There's <laughs> You're a, a ninja! There's a spirit in Ninja Vader. magic! <laughs> Banish it real quick. Not, um, nothing to do with me, no. <laughs> um, yeah, you can only, unless you have a very specific thing, which none of the characters have, um, join other people's fights if you have an emotional bond with one or yeah. uh, of the, mm-hmm. um, the people. So probably there will be a point where Nagisa will want an emotional bond. Um, I think the emotional bond is the most interesting one right now uh, because th- that's what the whole point Nagisa is here to to oh, learn about April. She wants to, to figure out if I'm a threat. Bond. Yeah, yeah. is she bond. a threat? Is she an, an ally? Like, what's happening here? She okay. Has, you're new, okay, strange, mysterious. So, uh, so, yeah, so that's what I want to do. You don't have to make a skill check for this. Oh. Um, you just roll to... Sorry, it's just, I have no idea what it's doing. Um, so you'll both roll a d6. And, okay. Uh, we will start with the... Oh, I did it. <laughs> that's fine. That, I was going to say you, um, as the person who, the main person whose turn it is. Um, so you've rolled a five <laughs> on the emotion chart. <gasps> so I have that. If I love it. Yeah, yeah, you I can choose it. positive or negative, yeah. So I can either admire you or so inferiority. I couldn't tell. Do I think of myself as inferior? Or no, I think it's you think of me. As I think. Inferior. I mean, I think these are uh, they're meant to be kind of like obscured so that you can just pick. Yeah. So it might cool. be one. But it's other. also negative, and I feel like thinking of yourself as inferior to someone is more like, ah, oh, you're so great. But I don't know. Mm, I can see that. Uh, I think we'll go with inferiority on this mm. because yeah, yeah, uh, that feels right. You're a little bit of a mess. Yeah, um, no, no. and and that's okay. She can use that. So um, she takes you to the office, um, and uh, in this whole experience, she just sort of shakes her head. Uh, okay, so do I also roll an emotional bond? Yeah, I think so. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, um, I have loyalty towards you because you just helped me out, man. So yeah, I rolled. A, I, did. I rolled a four, and my choices were either loyalty or contempt. And I feel like you're. I'm that thing. Like, oh, you're the only person that's helped me. Um, I just totally don't have my shit together. And you just came here, and you held an umbrella over my head, and you took me to the office, and you took me to my class, and mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So, so uh, Nagisa, yeah, she takes you to the office, then to the, your class, and and then when you're about to go inside, she hands you the umbrella, and she you know, oh. and says. Here, it will rain again. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, that's true. Are you sh- are you sure? Yeah, it looks at you oh, with yeah. very intense, like not. There's no qualifier of soon or anything. Just it will rain again. <laughs> uh, thank thank you so much. And like I like you know just like oh my gosh okay thanks this is great wow friends. Perhaps I will see you at lunch. Maybe. Uh, I have to find the cafeteria. I'm sure, I'm sure that everyone, I, I, I will yeah. meet you before your class, right before lunch and take you to the cafeteria. That's so kind of you. Oh, right thank here. you so much. I'm not worthy. <laughs> <laughs> she, she bows very quietly and then just quietly like disappears. Cool. Perfect. Cool, 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 yeah. cool, cool. All right. So, uh, next up. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. I'm yeah. gonna. It's okay. Blind. Your camera and my microphone. Yeah, don't us. even don't even worry about it. Dave is That's being fine. cursed by ninja spirits. <laughs> yeah. It's fine though. It's still. <laughs> you look, Dave, you look like Zordon. Like... <laughs> <laughs> rave, <laughs> rave underscore the underscore human. I like it. Yeah. So um, I'm just gonna go fiddle with that in a second, but we'll we'll start up the next scene. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh, After Nagisa, it is. Uh, let's have someone else. Let's have uh, Azuki's scene. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna roll on the chart and see what we get for setting. Uh, cause like, why wouldn't I do that? Uh, twelve. Twelve. What is twelve? Let's see. The sun 12 smiles 12. down on you. <laughs> so it's suddenly not raining. <laughs> <laughs> the sun well, smiles exactly. down and you fill you with light and warmth. For those right. who spend their lives <laughs> warring in the shadows. Too. Well, hold on. This it's not good, okay. right? So the sun smiles down and you're filling you with light and warmth for those who spend their lives warring in the shadows. This light blinds, this warmth burns. 
Is this like a, I've made my way up to the roof to survey my domain? <laughs> oh, uh, sure. Kind of, kind of shit. Like, if I can't figure out what's wrong with the, the people in the class, maybe if I get a broader view of everything, mm-hmm. I'll like, be able to figure it out, you know? Meditate on it. And so she's, she's sit. I think she's sitting on the roof um, with like a, like a sketch pad mm-hmm. open. She's got a pencil out and she's like drawing, um, like, one by one the like members of the class like one at a time like mm-hmm. flipping to the next page and like you can see them being sort of sketched out and then moving on um like you know and there's this internal monologue that's like if i memorize all their faces it'll be easier to keep track of, you know what i mean yeah 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 okay um like can i envision too like if this is if this is flowing from the last scene there's probably like a bunch of glare from the sun off yeah, of puddles, puddles of water, like sitting out on the roof. She, she found like the dry part in the overhang of the doorway. Yeah. You know, I like, think the that. rain stopped like right as Nagisa was yeah. ra- walking away. <laughs> oh like God, she, is our school and- trapped in a pathetic fallacy with the ghost girl that is like protecting me because that's terrifying. <laughs> I'm not creepy. I don't know what you're talking about. You're like, yeah, the cool, the ghost girl is happy. So it stops raining. <laughs> Uh, so I can do, or I can have other people in the scene, or... Yeah, so, um, you're supposed to pick whether it's recovery info or emotion first. Uh, we'll go, let's go with emotion. And, uh, Adam, if your character somehow... And he was already on the third floor, right? already on the third floor fuming. I'm everywhere. You know, maybe you go upstairs for some reason. Yeah, I mean, you're not allowed on the roof. (laughs) <laughs> yeah that's so fair. probably yeah i mean probably that's the scene right it's like you scribbling and then it cuts back and forth between like the of you drawing on the paper to the sound of regulation brand new school shoes on the staircase right <laughs> like me fucking ninja running up the stairs like and then back to you drawing and then back to me and then i like slam the door open and it does that like the like pull back and again you you just get the sun like glare off my glasses uh, and, and I'm just I, staring at you. I flip the, the I flip the notebook closed, like when you when you appear, mm-hmm. um, like staring across the roof. Yeah, and so so I reach up very slowly and I like flip the button on my my blazer and I like throw my coat open and with my other hand I pull out a demerits notepad. Oh no! And, whoosh, and like probably some of them like flutter off like like cherry blossoms like in the breeze <laughs> and I just I stare at you and it's like almost like I feel like this this would be shot like like a duel right like it gets those like hard cuts back and forth oh, totally. like the tense yeah. stare but it's not a fight scene but I'm just like you know I feel like I'm you here. look a lot more intense about it than I do oh totally you know yeah. what I mean yeah, it's yeah. that kind of like we have Adam's description and then it like the camera shifts to you and you're just like crickets it's yeah, yeah it's probably one of those those scenes where um in in kind of a multi-genre anime where we have the the shonen uh, UFO table type drawing, and then you've got the like totally flat single color, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> like cartoon eyes version, which is like okay, <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay. Um, and I I look up from what I was doing, close the notepad, and I go, hi. <laughs> And I, uh, I look at you, and I, I squint, and I say, you don't understand the seriousness of the danger you've gotten yourself into. I, like, look back over the ledge of the, of the roof and go, I don't know. I think I have a pretty good grasp on it. I look around <laughs> like that's not what I'm talking about. And yeah. there's there's probably that dual thing going on in your head as well because it's like you're on the hunt for a traitor. You have an important yeah. mission. This guy's like threatening you, and he's just like, "I'm gonna tell you off, breaking school <laughs> rules." You're like, oh, "What if he's come to kill me?" You look, maybe you've like got a secret weapon out or something. Like, I ready. still have the pencil in my hand. Oh, uh, right, of course. <laughs> So maybe we see that. Like, do you just like twirl it kind of like casually? Yeah, just like a little like. Okay, so I I have, I see it. And it, this is basically the, like, the way I read it is you twirling the pencil is like that first like click of the sword out of the scabbard, right? Where it I, it, it carries the same weight. And so I uh, I reach up 
and very slowly out of my pocket protector, I draw my own pencil and like hold it out. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I does, it become, does this just become a fight scene? Well, it so was an emotional bond scene, it's right? An emotional do we? Bond scene, yeah. So we have to see what the emotional. So bond. we're like we're facing each other down, and yeah, I checked. So you do have to you do have to make a a, a skill check. You pick a skill and then oh, okay. make a check. Uh, and oh, if the skill check I'm is gonna successful, use sli- I'm going to use sleight of hand for impressive pencil spinning <laughs> technique. Okay. Oh yeah! Whoops! Nice. Boom. Okay, so you got a nine. You needed a five. Yep. I think that's a oh, success. So if yeah, if you don't pass, you don't get an emotional bond. Yeah. Mine's that's, that's, that's okay. Good. Now we can do emotional bonds. Adam. Well, now I have a free one, so ha. <laughs> All right. So I think I want to roll this emotional bond and then see where that Yeah, and then we can narrate our way out of it. Yeah, sure. where that leads us. So I'm gonna roll a D6 for myself. Okay, I got one too. Mm. Okay, so what do you think, Health? I mean, I got that mistrust. Like uh-huh. this, this guy is rolled up. And uh, you're like, on the first one. You rolled a two, so you'd be friendship or anger. Oh, that's true. Oh, yeah. you're right. Sorry, I, I totally, I counted the positive negative. Yeah. As well. I was counting. Uh, maybe this is like a game recognized game. <laughs> yeah. Right. Situation. Well, so know? mine, my options are affection or envy. So I think I'm gonna go with envy because you clearly have like pencil wielding skill <laughs> and perhaps sure. also I'm envious of like the uh it's one of those things where I hate you for what you are but I envy you because I could never be so free as you with your dirty face and your dumb art that's um, true yeah that sounds about right okay so I'll take friendship definitely <laughs> nice <laughs> like like I think there's a moment where like I finish this little pen tour pencil twirl yeah and I look at you for like there's there's maybe like three seconds pass and then I just go, you know, like yeah, not of like yeah, yeah. And so I I walk up and it's not clear uh what what Goemon's like um emotional state is here. Like it's just this neutral face. I'm just walking towards you. I think we see uh like I I step in one of those like shiny puddles we described before and I stop in front of you and I tear off the sheet that I was writing on. And I, uh, I like very dramatically like rip it off and then like slam it into your hands and then turn around and walk away. And as you unfold it, it just has like perfectly drawn in pencil, just as the kanji for a warning. <laughs> <laughs> and I think there's a moment where she, she sees the, the, like, you know, the warning. Um, and there's a look of like shock on her face as if she's expected something more to yeah. happen <laughs> but then it didn't yeah you know yeah. um and then and then she just scribbles over your warning with a sketch of you <laughs> yeah just to write like turn the kanji into a silly carrot yeah, yeah. that's good i like that <laughs> rad there we go another lovely little scene um so now we have either uh Gaimon or april we'll, we'll flip back to april Okay, so I'm going to pick a drama scene as well um, because the only person I could fight um, I'm very loyal to now, suddenly. (laughs) Um, So I will roll to set the scene first. Sure. Um, 2d6. The scene rolling thing is optional if you can't think of a place you want to. I like it. Um, Oh, good. Uh, It's so dark. It's like the world has ended, and yet, in this absolute (laughs) darkness, you begin to whisper. (laughs) (laughs) To, like, the photo development lab. (laughs) I think that, like, she goes, she goes to try and, like, darkness. (laughs) She goes to try and retrace her steps to get back to, like, where her class is, her second class, maybe, because you, it's, it's in between like homeroom and lunch so she doesn't have someone to help <laughs> and she just like ends up locked in a closet or something <laughs> you're lost in the ancient catacombs beneath the school <laughs> yeah, you're, um, you find yourself actually um somehow mm-hmm. in um like out in the school grounds they have uh like a groundskeeper uh-huh um, and it's near the greenhouse there's like a, <laughs> a janitor's shed 
<laughs> Somehow I got really, really far away from school. <laughs> knock. You knock. You knocked uh, and tried to find um, help and like ask someone. You're like, hey. Um, but as you opened the door and came in, um, I don't know, like a, a strategically pl- placed broom fell yeah. on the outside. A rake just like this, <laughs> looked you into this room. Okay, so um, I'm not going to do a recovery check because I don't have anything to recover. Um, and uh, I feel like maybe there's, because I'm looking for... I'm looking for, I think I'm, I want to get the information check. Um, I want to learn the location of my new best friend, Nagisa. <laughs> okay. um, and I feel like, because um, we have to use a skill, right? Yeah. I choose That's a skill that I think is relevant. Um, yeah. Let's you see. It, however you like. Yeah. I feel like the um, there's it's so hard because some of these skills on the paper aren't actually like correct. So got, there's a handout with the, the translated, translated character sheet, yeah. right? Okay. So that one's got all the skills there. Mm-hmm. So I think that the skill I'm probably using to try and find out where Nagisa is all the time because I love her now um, <laughs> is. Maybe it's mm, not, there's no one here, so it doesn't make sense to be rumor mongering. Um, maybe it's something it's like. Modern day, you've got tech, right? Yeah. Uh, Did you just start cyber stalking her? Is there a <laughs> skill that's cyber stalking? I mean, that could be, you know, rumor mongering or I guess investigation. Analysis. Maybe. Uh, Analysis. Looking at her social maybe, media. Maybe. Um, maybe. Maybe investigation, maybe analysis. I would say either of those would probably be relevant. What do you think, GM? What do I think? What do I think? Uh, the and you're doing it like by looking her up on Ninja Facebook, except it's not. <laughs> yeah, is there contacts? I love Ninpo. Is that like see, reaching out to like people? Oh yeah, is there like a contact? Right? Like, there is. It's in strategy. Yeah, moment. contacts. What one is that? Is it just uh, strategy? strategy? Yeah, I could do strategy if that's the contact skill. Uh, d- d- Makes d- d- sense. On the character sheet, it is. It's called contacts. It's yeah. called. Yeah. Oh, at the bottom. Okay. Oof. I mean, chances are sm- slim, but I mean, if that's the appropriate one, you could do that, or you could do investigate. Well, I feel like that would be more reaching out to people yeah. that I know to try and figure out about her, which I don't think that I would. I think it's more investigation. Okay, yeah, you can roll uh, or attempt to roll investigation. Do you have investigation? No. So I roll depending that's, on my closest thing. That's pretty good. That's right. So so for, for folks who are watching this at home and who are like, what is going on with these skill rolls? This game has like a really weird skill check thing where on the character sheet, you yeah. look at the skill you have. It's really cool, but it's super weird where, uh, and all of this work is being done for us automatically on the character sheet. But if you if you look on the sheet, you have to jump the skills that you have and every time you jump it adds to the difficulty so right like, if so you i use have ventriloquism this... and you have hidden weapons you jump over to contortionism and then over to ventriloquism right so i have a skill in um strategy uh and then you jump one is the gap in between skills yep two is the um skill next to it and then three is the skill above yeah so yes. that gets me a plus three to my target um, which means that my target is eight. And you rolled um, a 2d6, I, which is pretty, that's pretty impressive getting a nine. Uh, but I rolled eight. a nine, so I successfully investigate and find the location of my new best friend. Um, so I'll just put like a check mark there or whatever. Yeah. So um, weirdly enough, while you sit in, uh, in the shed, you <laughs> get out your super high tech tablet. And you begin searching through the um, like student. I think reference. I get it out originally for light, and then I get distracted. Yeah, that makes sense because it's a little <laughs> while. We've been there. <laughs> I need yeah. a flashlight. Oh, Twitter. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Before eventually, um, like maybe after first periods ended, or maybe 
as lunch ends, you miss lunch because you get stuck in there. Um, but you do manage to get this information. Oh, um, yeah. I miss lunch. I miss my lunch date with my new best friend. And eventually, uh, the groundskeeper comes back and um, lets you let you out of the place. Uh, and he says, oh, don't come back around here again. It's fine because you're new, but uh, you don't <laughs> want to be wandering around here and you don't want to miss any classes on your first day. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, thank you. Uh, lots of like bowing and backing up. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And then I feel like I would just try and get back to the school and where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> okay. Please add the groundskeeper to your NPC sheet. Ooh. Oh, good. Yes. Perfect. As you walk away, he, um, he goes back up to the door and um, like by the windowsill, he sees like that the rake fell over and he um, like twists a little dial and the rake stands back up. Um, Good. <laughs> and he opens the door and looks around inside. Um, and you see him like looking through the darkness and investigating. The camera doesn't kind of fool on what he's looking for. But you see him have, like cross his arms and do a stern nod. Uh, so as a like, question, when you say put the name, the this NPC on your character sheet, is it only me that has it or is it everybody? Uh, everyone can put it. Cause okay. now we like, all know that this person is, is relevant. Yeah. Um, yeah. He get, kind of gives this stern nod. He says, hmm. doesn't look like she suspects me. <laughs> and, like closes it back out. Um, and like, starts whistling and like walking again doing like an npc sort of walk you know um, you know what you know what part of being a groundskeeper you know what part of your job is cutting the grass Nani. <laughs> <laughs> sure okay is. game's over all right perfect okay so the final uh scene of the first round um it's my turn. All right, so uh, going. On. I think I have to. I think I also have to do like a uh, location discovery. I need to be able to keep track of April, so I think I'm gonna do that. Mm. Um, Makes sense. And <laughs> deep love hatred. Yeah, and I don't. I'm not gonna roll on the table because I think. I think what this this scene is is just going on going from student to student. And like grilling them about April, like holding up essentially like a wanted poster that he has like personally made himself on Microsoft Word in the school computer and it lab. Makes, it makes sense even to the students because I have obviously broken so many yeah, rules. And I have a list of your violations. I have like a picture of you and your <laughs> outfit with like circles being like too short, too long, wrong color. Uh, and so I'm just going around from student to student just like browbeating them and being like where is this girl <laughs> so okay. uh yeah so that I, was a lot to me like you were investigating also yeah 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 could be uh i was i was gonna yeah i would that's yes that's that's a skill i have so let's I go with that all context yeah, yeah i think this is investigation i'm i'm following clues uh so let's yeah let's roll and see how it goes all right okay uh, nice i got an eight my target was five cool so it turns out um, you're grilling someone. Um, there are some like delinquents uh, around the back of one of the um, school buildings. <laughs> who are, um, like I don't think the PG Valley for this show shows them smoking, right. but then something which has clearly been censored by the company that's airing this show <laughs> right. but it's kind of left sort of in yeah. the who's doing this <laughs> yeah. and they've, they've put, like one's probably got like a huge like pompadour out like like this far out of his head yeah 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 they're eating, has, exactly like, they're eating like, pocky cigarettes. yeah so all their all the cigarettes the original cut they were smoking but it's been re-edited this is the four kids version and so yeah they just have pocky and they're we're eating it like a cigarette for some reason one of their pocky is like like has a cloud of smoke for some reason. <laughs> That's great. Perfect. Yeah. And I don't want to catch you. 
using incense sticks <laughs> around the back of the building again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well and that's the thing is when we're done like I, I i it's basically like doing the like bad cop thing where like yeah like i grab one of them by by his non-regulation tie and like slam him up against the building and i'm just like he's like where is she you need to tell me right now and like doing the whole thing and then when he finally like and the whole thing is shot like a gritty like cop drama but it's not and then i like i throw the guy in the ground uh and he he's like looking up at me like please like mercy tadeoka san and then and then I like I take out my demerits pad uh, and I say, uh, in the law, there is no room for mercy. And I throw the pad down and it blows up into like a cloud of demerits and I disappear. I'm gone. Perfect. I love it. <laughs> yep. But you do get the information that you need. That's right. Uh, they saw her uh, get stuck in the shed and they decided not to help. And they just <laughs> laughed about it. Um, yeah. Yeah, and they tell you, like, the groundskeeper, like, let her out. And then he was doing something weird. <laughs> and you're like, hmm, perhaps I should investigate this also. And like, just, just as flavor. To yeah, I like it. Cool. All right. It. So I have, your, I have your location now, April, and I can find you in future scenes where I have to beat you up. Yeah. Okay. So that's everyone who's had their kind of introductions and their first scenes. So I think it makes sense to take a break now, and we'll head into the... Um, second cycle once we get back from the break so sounds good sounds good to me cool cool uh thank you uh to everybody who has donated so far we are at 166.67 percent yeah. of our our money raise so oh, now six, everything six, six. i know it's great hail satan so we're everything that we're everything that we're raising now is uh is extra and it's going to go and help elf escape edmonton to come and join us in seattle yes. so thank you everybody uh for donating we'll be back in just a couple of minutes uh, with more ninja action. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 